Um, Siege is an interesting game, and now when I say game, I mean the community, because the community likes to talk about skill in Siege, but doesn't understand that there's more to skill, or more to Siege, to where you can't even use like just a basic fundamental thought process of the word skill. Like for a lot of people who play video games, the, the basic thought process of skill is your KD and your rank, essentially. Um, so if you had a high KD, you got a higher rank, people associate that with being good. Even though, necessarily, there's more things that can go into it. Like, Siege has a lot of perspective situations. Siege also has... Out back. Um, Siege also has timing. Like, there's a, there's a thing called Siege timing. So if you factor in Siege timing, factor in perspective, which is basically on one person's screen, they see one thing. Another person's screen, see something else. You know, that's a big thing in this, in this game. Bigger than any other game that I've played. i played every major shooter. Siege is bigger than any other game that comes to that. There's also like there's peekers advantage, there's ping advantage, there's so many like other details that go into why we're playing on bank. I think you're a jackal. There's 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 other details that go into why um you know someone would do good, why someone would do bad and that people don't think about. People don't even think it's a consideration. They just always jump to those those easy labels of high in KD or high in rank. And it's like, there's people who are pretty meh at this game, who don't have a lot of game sense, they don't have like a lot of a lot of tactical ability, who have high KDs, because if you're just getting kills, you're getting kills. But there's more to being good than, you know, your stat line. There's also stats that don't show up on, on, the, on, the, on the scoreboard. But someone who has like, you know, low kills, people be like, oh, that guy's doing bad. But it's like, is he really though? You know, you look at a scoreboard. Let's say someone goes four and five, and their team wins. People are like, oh, this guy did bad. He went four and five. It's like he probably did things that you know don't show on the scoreboard, like watching cams and not pinging. AKA, you're watching cams, and basically what you're doing is you're just you're calling it out where you're you're doing like yellow ping. You don't get points for yellow ping, so if you're just sitting calling things out or yellow pinging, no one knows what the fuck you're doing. like. The game's not registering that as giving you a scan assist. So you don't get credit for that. If you call out some period calls in general don't have any credit towards them when it comes to in game. So someone can be given like good call outs and not get rewarded for that. There's so many other details that go into it than just the basic, let's just use this label of rank or KD. There's more to it. And you know there's more to it because you go to any C content creators uh, Twitch stream, what do you hear? All right, I have a insert Protect KD. How do I get better at the game? I feel like I'm not good enough, but I have this KD. So, you wanna know why? Because there's more to the game. Your heart stuck at bronze or silver or whatever because you don't have the other things that make it, make it matter when you win. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. It's not, it's never, I can always say, everything is just on a spectrum. It's never freaking just black and white. It's never just this or that. It's always more than that. Yeah, there's a lot that goes in, into, you know, every game. You know, not just Siege. A lot of games when it comes to playing like at a competitive level, AK just playing ranked. Not professionally, but like just if you're like taking rank even half serious, there's more that goes into it than what's seen on the stat screen. And we know that's true just via again looking at content creators. Not content creators themselves, but looking at their at their, at their chats, for example. Yeah, you, know, you look at like I said before, like someone in chat, you'll always see people come into the stream who are like, I get 10 kills a game, which you know, they're usually bullshit when they say that. Um, they get 10 kills a game and I'm still a hard stuck bronze. Like, you're a hard stuck because your kills don't mean shit. Like, that's the reality of it. Your kills don't mean anything. You know, like, there's this term called impactless kills. An impactless kill is basically, like, let's say you, you, you got some kills in a round that you still lost and it didn't even matter if you got those kills. No one cared that you got those kills. It's solo key. When you solo queue, you're playing at what a coin toss. You're coin tossing. On how things are going to go and you're basically signing a, a mental contract that you accept the outcome of, of, of it being a bad game or a loss but again back to what i said before about there's things that don't show up on the stat screen that are impactful um it took fuse a long time to, to like do what he needed to do he just started getting his huge charges off until the end of that round because he had to go through my freaking castle wall he had to take down castle walls he, then he had to like actually set up and keep by the time he started people already dying if he doesn't have breaching charges, he has to smack him to get him down. So it's just time wasting. Time wasting it doesn't get showed up on showing on, on the freaking what you call. Doesn't get shut up on the, on the scoreboard. You know, setups when it comes to like 
you know how you set up set up a site site setups aren't shown on the, on the freaking screen make your way to its location and defuse it but you could have a setup that's very impactful for why the game went the way it went and it's like the reason why that stuff happens is the same freaking thing because these these people and that's where I, that that per, the guy who's who's doing a team killing on his team well right now because if the guy got the two team kills he's the kind of person who will be in in terror roles or king george's or athena's freaking chat and being like how come i can't get out of my freaking rank my teammates suck it's like they don't even like you know they don't they people who who like ask how to get better at video games and inside content creators chats they don't ever tell you the details on, on like what it is that they do you know it's the blame game it's everyone else's fault not theirs need to use your drone to locate a bomb. I remember there was someone who commented at Thino's chat and I was like well you know are do you have a, a shitty personality do you team kill like do, do you do these uh, I'm asking him a question on what, what he does because he's talking about he can't make friends he was like and then it got in a roundabout way it came to him admitting that he just has a, a bad personality and it's like well there you go but yeah like that's what happens in like a, a lot of uh not mine because I'm a nobody but in a lot of like Content creators that are sick that play Siege and some other games too. So I noticed it. Um, they'll get people in their chat who are like asking like how to get better at the game and stuff like that, and then they never really mention what is it they do. You know, they, they don't they don't mention like what are what are where are they bad at? Because it's always the them is, is everyone else's fault. Like that's why they mention like oh, I averaged ten kills. There was a guy last night in a Thino's freaking chat. He's like I averaged ten kills. I'm stuck in bronze. My teammates are all bad. So I, I pulled the stats up because it's, it's really easy to pull some stats up in, in Siege. And, and the guy does an average 10 kills. He freaking had a 0.7 KD. It's like, but people do that because they, they want to like, not only do they want to blame other people for why they're, they're not having success, they want to make sure everyone else who's reading their comment think they're good. Which is why they mention, mention like stat lines. You don't need to mention your stat line to get, a, to get help from, from a streamer or from someone who, you know, is known for helping people. Your stat lines are relevant. Just say, "Hey, I'm I'm, I'm hard stuck bronze, you know, and and I, I want to get better. What are some some tips?" And that that way, the content creator can just be like, yeah, just, "So first off, you can watch these videos that I made because this 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 this, and go from there." A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people do. They, they want to like want to make sure they can shift blame. That's what that is. When when is this one who who is typing in a content creator's chat about needing help, things like that? They mentioned their stat line not because they want people to not, not because they feel like it makes a streamer you know respond to them they want people to think they're not the problem they can't be me but like but it can be you can get a high number of kills in this game especially this game other games too but this game and you know it not even matter because again like i said before in that, in that, in that last game and packless kills and packless kills like i said is getting a certain number of kills that don't even, like matter they don't dictate the like the outcome of the game for example let's say you're attacking first and you, you got two kills so your team all died you're still outside you're refusing to get the diffuser so what you're, gonna, you're just going to save kd so you're going to stay outside until the time runs out and say that the two kills that you that you got and you, now you lost that round that's impactless frags you have two frags and they didn't even matter they didn't change the outcome of the game you saved kd so you didn't even like try to like get into any kind of altercations you you got like two picks potentially by someone who'll spawn peeking or you know, you you sat outside watching watching the window, and people just happen to run run by you, and now you're just like sitting outside. Then the next round, you know, you basically do the same thing, but you don't get any kills. So now you're you're two you're two o for two rounds. And then the next round, you know, you, you get one kill and then you die. So like now you're three and one after three rounds. So like it makes it look like you're doing good at the game, but really you're, you're not. So now you're in defense, and let's say let's let's say you're now in one v x. Let's say one v four. In that 1v4, you get two kills, then you die. So now you're five and two. See, we're going here with those impactless, impactless kills. So, like, it looks like you're doing good on a stat screen, and you're telling people, I got this num number of kills and still lost, but you're not including I save KD, as in, I, I don't even try to freaking play the objective. If my teammates are all dead, I'm just gonna sit outside and wait for time to run out, and, you know, things like that, or I'm getting into 1v6s and you know, like I'll I'll win a couple, and then do shit for the rest of the game. The last time we played Siege was like what Monday or last week? It was last week. It was, it was freaking th Thursday. We played Siege. We had a game where I legit had back to back rounds against three Ks, which is basically just getting three kills. So back to back rounds, I got three kills. That's two rounds 
total six kills. I ended that game with a, a 11 kills. We won. We won by, I think, 4-1. Um, we won that game, and I had 11 kills, and I had, you know, top leaderboard. So two rounds where I got, where I got three kills each in both those rounds. That's six kills. One round where I had, at the last round of that game, I had another three, three kills. So it's like, that's nine right there. So it means three rounds, I got nine kills in that game. I had 11 total. That means in the, the other... The other four rounds we played, three rounds we played, because it was four and one, so that's five rounds of siege. The other three rounds that I played, I got two kills. Because I didn't really do shit in, 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 in like at least one or two of those rounds. Again, those are the, the details that get missed when, when people talk about siege. Or any game that, you know, be classified as like, a high skill ceiling and things like that, and people want to flex their rank and, and their KD. On ping. It's not a bird, she's dead. Good shit. Dead. That's diffuser. Or is Blackbeard? Blackbeard's dead. That's dead. He's flying on, on default. Clutched around beforehand, got a 3k on, on that one. 